Hello everyone, Cindy here with Monarch Mom DIY. Thank you so much for joining me today on my channel where I love to bring you the best tips and tools for creating beautiful home decor on a budget. Today I am here with four more patriotic summer DIYs that are quick and easy to put together and look great. So let's get crafting. For today's first DIY, we're going to be making these American flag blocks using six of these wood craft cubes from Dollar Tree, as well as the white ocean and lacquer chalk paints. So here you can see I have my six blocks and my top left one, I'm going to paint with one good coat of the blue chalk paint that is called ocean. My method for doing this is I paint the top and then halfway down each of the sides and then once that's dry, we'll flip it around and paint the rest of the sides. I found that these cubes took the paint really well so I only needed one coat. Then for my other five cubes, I'm going to do the same method with my white chalk paint until all of my six cubes are completely painted on all of the sides. Now taking my two rows of white cubes, two on the top and three on the bottom, I'm using a thin washi tape. This is my favorite method for doing stripes, is I'm putting the rows of tape right next to each other and then taking the top row off. So everywhere that does not have tape, once we put all these um, strips of tape on, we will be painting red and then the spaces that are covered up by the tape will remain white. So you can see I had to do a little bit of finagling here to get them to um, line up where each row of cubes would have three red stripes and three white stripes. So I'm going to do the same thing here to my bottom three cubes. And like I said, this is just a really easy way to try to get evenly spaced stripes. Now that we have our strips of tape down, I'm gonna take that red or that lacquer chalk paint and I'm gonna go one time over the spaces that you can still see as white. And then once we get those all painted, we will pull up the washi tape and have our nice red and white stripes for our American flag wood blocks. Once all my cubes were dry, you can see I did take my sander and make this look a little more vintage by sanding around the edges and a little bit on top of the cubes as well. Then taking a very fine tip white paint marker from Elmer's that I get at Walmart, I'm just drawing some little asterisk size um, stars and then I'm also going to fill in with some dots. This is not meant to be an exact replica of the flag, um, especially since I don't have the right number of stripes. So I'm just making this um, kind of fun and whimsical. Then taking some really thin jute twine, I'm putting a dab of hot glue there on the side. And then once that's secure, I'm just gonna wrap my twine around my blocks. I did not glue my blocks together in case I do wanna take these apart and do something else with the cubes. Um, so I am securing them together with the jute twine going around um, maybe eight times, I think. And then I'm gonna secure the other end with a little bit of hot glue as well. 
And there we have our finished American flag wood blocks. Super fun and cute and easy to add to any decor. If you're stopping by my channel for the first time today, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I hope you'll consider sticking around by hitting that subscribe button and also hit the bell to set your notifications so YouTube will let you know each time I upload new content. If you are one of my many returning viewers or subscribers, thank you so much for your continued support of my channel. If you are on Facebook, please head over to my Monarch Mom DIY Facebook page, like it and follow it as I will be showing more and more uh, posts about Magnolia Design Company over there. For DIY number two, we're going to be making a flag clothespin wreath. Um, I had these metal, I guess they're photo hangers. So I decided to try making a wreath out of this rather than the typical wreath form. I did use 70 of the wooden clothespins from Dollar Tree. I did spray paint them because this was faster for me, but you could always use the chalk paint. I made 27 clothespins white, 27 of them this colonial red spray paint, and then I did 16 of them with, I believe it was a colonial blue, all by Rust-Oleum. So you can see here, I'm clipping them on the second hole. It's a smaller hole on the clothespin, kind of where the metal, um, bracket is and I'm going to do all 16 of the blue ones over here to the left kind of where the blue part of a flag would be and then my white and red clothespins I'm doing three white and three red for my stars I used this bag of this foam scatter from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to pull out the white stars from it they have a little bit of a glitter to them but not too bad and then once I get those arranged, I'm just going to use a little bit of hot glue to tack those down to the blue clothespins. Now you could definitely do this same idea using the regular um, round wreath form from Dollar Tree. They come in different sizes, but because I had these metal um, lines going across the center. I decided to pull apart one of these hanging decor from Dollar Tree that had the stars that said USA and I'm just going to glue those to these horizontal metal pieces. I'm putting a little dab of hot glue um, where each star touches the metal and then I'm going to flip it over and put more hot glue just to make it more secure. Now, if you don't have these um, hanging star decor or you wanna do something different, you could definitely use the metal clips and you could clip pictures of you know, your family at the 4th of July. You could put a flag in the center. Do whatever you want. This is just what I had on hand, so I decided to finish my project with this and you can definitely modify this for what you have. I do love how this turned out. It would be great hanging on the wall and it's pretty inexpensive to make these clothespins. You get 32, I believe, in a pack for a dollar, 25. If you love budget home decor DIY videos like this, please consider giving this video a thumbs up as that lets YouTube know that people are enjoying my content and they will show it to more and more viewers. Also in today's video, I have a special giveaway I'm doing, so please be sure to watch to the end of the video so you can be entered into that drawing. DIY number three is a super cute ribbon flag banner. I'm gonna use this wall shelf from Dollar Tree as well as three wood stars from Walmart and then just a variety of ribbons from my stash. Now I had these wall shelves that I hadn't used for anything. They're about 14 inches by six inches. I'm going to sand where the holes are and then fill those in with some wood filler. 
You don't have to use this wall shelf. This is just what I had. They are selling now at Dollar Tree in Crafter Square some hanging pieces of wood that are this shape rectangle. So just use what you have or what you can find. I'm again using these same three colors of Waverly chalk paint, lacquer, white, and ocean. And I'm going to paint one of these small Walmart stars in each color. I get these in the craft aisle and I believe you get six in a package for under $2. I am painting the fronts and also the side edges to give it a nice finished look. So we'll paint one of them with the lacquer red, one of them with white, and then one of them with ocean blue. While the stars are drying, I'm coming back to my board and just sanding where that wood filler was. And then I'm gonna give my board a good coat of the white chalk paint. I'm going to paint the front and all the side edges as well. Next, to give our board a little bit more of a rustic look, I'm taking my light gray mineral chalk paint and a chippy brush, and I'm just dry brushing some of this gray on my white board. I want it to just have a little bit more of a weathered look, also so that our white star will pop out and not blend in. Once I had the paint on there, I did sand it a little bit to get that gray blended in. Then coming back to my stars, now that they're dry, I'm just taking a Sharpie and with the side edge of the Sharpie, I'm going around each of my stars just to outline them a little bit. Not perfectly, but enough to help them stand out from the board that is the base of our project. Then I'm going to hot glue those on to um, our board, spacing them out as evenly as possible. And I do have them down a little bit towards the bottom of the board because I am going to add that little strip of red pom-pom garland or trim across the top. Now that our board is done, it's time to come to our ribbons. And you can see I have my ruler there. I just started cutting about 13 inch lengths of a bunch of different ribbons that were all in the patriotic color family. So the reds did not all match, the blues did not all match, um, but I really liked having this variety of ribbons. And then what I did is I flipped it over to the back and I started gluing the ribbons on. I made the mistake over there on the left, I glued a couple of the really wide ribbons first, but you'll see I'm gonna pull those off because otherwise um, small ribbons would get hidden behind them. So I'm gonna spread out some of my skinny ribbons first and then we'll start putting in some of the wider ribbons behind those.
Next, once I had all my ribbons on, you can see some of them I cut a little shorter. Um, usually the skinnier ones, I just kind of cut them at an angle. And then the wider ribbons, I'm taking and folding in half and doing the little dovetail so they have that little um, pennant shape at the bottom. And this is one of those projects where it's like, just do what you feel is going to look good. And so that's what I decided to do with this. And I really loved how it turned out and how they just all hang kind of differently. Some of them are wired and some of them are not. The last thing I did was to tie a knot on two ends of a piece of jute twine and then I just hot glued that to the back of the wood to create a hanger. Today I am doing a special giveaway to two people that comment on this video. Let me know in the comments what is your favorite state of the 50 United States to travel to and why. I will be drawing a winner next Saturday, which would be May 28th, 2022 around 8 p.m. Eastern time, one of those comments, and you, two of those comments, and you will each be receiving a crafting goodie box from me. For DIY number four, we're going to be making a door hanger using three of these larger wood stars from Dollar Tree, some ribbon, our same chalk paint, and I'm also going to be using the USA letters from another Dollar Tree wall hanging you'll see in a minute. So removing the jute twine hangers and the labels for my three stars, I'm going to paint one of them white, one of them with the lacquer red, and the last one with the ocean blue. Again, doing complete coat on the front and also the edges. Again, using a Sharpie marker, I'm just adding a little detailing on the edges of the star, doing a squiggle and then three dots that just gives it a little bit more of a frame around the shape and then a little bit of a whimsical look as well. Now these are the letters that came on a hanging uh, decor piece from Dollar Tree as well. I just pulled the letters off of the ribbon and I'm just hot gluing those to the center of our wooden stars here. I feel like combining pieces from Dollar Tree is a great way to make some unique decor and also just elevate the look of, say, these glitter USA letters. I feel like it tones it down to put it on just the plain painted stars and I'm really happy with how this comes together. Now using some jute twine, I'm going through the U the star that has the U on it, and then I'm going to tie a knot and pull it through. So you will see that little bit of a knot on the front side of the star, but this is how I decided to hook all three of my stars together to be able to hang. So trim the front of that little knot, and then I'm leaving enough for a loop, and then I'm stringing the jute twine down the back of the letter. Now I'm gonna space out how much more rope I need for the S and the A, and then once we trim that off, we'll do the same thing. We'll make a knot and then pull the string through the S, 
And I'm going to do this so that my stars are as evenly spaced out as possible. Now that I have all three stars tied onto the rope, I'm going to run hot glue down the back of my bottom star, and I have the knot pulled tight on the front, and then just gluing down the rest of that string, and I will trim that, and then I'm gonna move up and do the same thing to my S star, and then we'll move up and glue also the U star. Now I'm coming back to this ribbon. A lot of this I cut for my previous um, project with the ribbon um, pendant hanger. I had a lot of ribbons that were left. So I decided to make three messy bows that I'm going to put at the top of each of my stars. So some of these ribbons you'll see me cut into um, some smaller pieces here. And I'm making three that end up being slightly different. Each bow is slightly different. I'm using some of this wired um, ribbon and then you'll see in a minute I'm going to take a, a wide ribbon and I'm actually going to cut it in half so it makes a skinnier ribbon that I can use towards the top of my messy bows but these are a great way to again combine um, ribbons that you have on hand and create really easy cute unique bows Here's that blue with white polka dot ribbon. I'm first trimming the wire edging off. Then I'm gonna fold this piece into thirds. You'll see me kind of do an S curve of it here to get three similar size pieces. We'll cut those apart. And then I'm gonna cut it in half this way so that I get two skinnier pieces. So I can use this ribbon on all three of my messy bows. So just continue layering your ribbon. And then I'm gonna take these zip ties. I couldn't find any more of my longer ones. So I'm using this uh, shorter black one from the automotive section in Dollar Tree. And you're just going to wanna tighten that really good, kind of doing it a little at a time so you can adjust the ribbons in case any of them slide out or it's not quite in the center, you can um, kind of pull ribbons to adjust that. And then once you have it how you want it, you're gonna go ahead and really pull it as tight as you possibly can. Now I'm going to leave the tails on my zip ties and you'll see why in just a moment. It's going to allow us to attach these messy bows to the back of each star. So here you can see how I'm going to attach the messy bow. I'm gonna tuck the tail of the zip tie behind so that the bow sits right at the very top of the star and flipping over the star to the back I'm just running hot glue over it to attach that zip tie and therefore attach the messy bow right at the top of each star super cute I love how this turned out it's so long that when I hung it it went way up past my photo backdrop that I film or that I take pictures of all my DIYs and I love this I'm going to hang this on my front door Thanks again so much for joining me today. Please let me know in the comments which of these projects was your favorite, and we'll see you next time. Take care.